You guys want to see how we went from this to this for super cheap? Stay tuned. Okay, so to do this upgrade, obviously, um, you will need a H4. It's a conversion harness. You kind of need it to do these on specifically on MR2s. I'm not sure about other cars that use these kind of headlights, but MR2s, you will need this conversion harness right here. This is exactly what it is. I don't, I will have links to everything down below. So you do need this conversion harness. Um, this next, this is optional. And I say that because you don't need to if, buy these if you want to use your older headlights. Um, I got these because I like how they have the black inner housing. And then um, you can only see these three lines here, but for the most part, they are clear. And I will explain to you guys why that matters as we install them. But yeah, these are just, you know, glass. They're off eBay. These are 30 bucks. So again, this is optional. You don't need these. You can use your headlights, but I got them because I like the look. Clear lenses, I'm gonna wrap these in uh, paint protection film so that way it keeps them nice and fresh and clean for a long time. Again, optional, 30 bucks. You can buy it or not, up to you. So the main part that I'm even making this video about is these right here. These are amazing. If you want plug and play, um, super bright, you know, beautiful cutoff line lights. And you guys will see, trust me, as I'm installing these, this is what you want. They're LED. These are the 55K, so they should be pretty white. Um, they're 35 watts. And uh, yeah, they hold up to this temperature. They have a 30,000 hour operation life. And these were 45 bucks. So this is pretty much all you need to upgrade your headlights. Again, the, the LED fog lights that I'm doing, that's optional. And so are the headlights. Uh, you'll need that harness so well the harness is about 12 13 dollars so let me show you what these guys look like these are beautiful i've already opened them up and tested them but they are beautiful I'm trying to show you guys and i know you can find headlights these days with uh stuff that looks like this but they're absolute trash but trust me when we plug these in you guys are gonna be pretty shocked at what they look like they have a fan to just to move the heat away from here um, these have a beautiful cutoff line again on other cars that have this maybe more modern cars you might not need that conversion harness but for the mr2 specifically you do so if you don't need that harness you have seen these as cheap as like thirty dollars um, i would obviously not recommend the cheapest ones you can find but you know anyway so it has a little capacitor thing or whatever you call that and they come off right here they unscrew bam so it's super easy to install pop this back in there screw it in because you'll need to take this apart obviously before you while you're installing this in the headlight so yeah that's all you're going to need to do this conversion mainly this and that other harness these are 45 bucks again i will have links to everything below these are 45 and the harness itself is about 12 13 bucks so let's get started okay so before we even put them in the car we're going to install this section take them out so we're going to install this section right here into this headlight itself again if you're not upgrading your own personal headlights just pop them off i'll show you guys how to do that later unscrew those take those off the car and do this off the car it makes things 100 times easier so disconnect that and obviously as you guys can see from here this is the mounting uh the bottom where the where it mounts right so this will go up this off see that in there that's where this mounts to so when you put this in here i don't know if you guys can see how it kind of sticks out almost to the end of the lens right so we have to remove that so that is one thing that it gets kind of technical um, and a little bit more hard to harder to do but um, you can either throw this in the oven take this apart take take that out or what I like to do is I just pop this off here and then you can I guess that's the way you should do it on the on these ones but you can unscrew it right there and then just kind of finagle this thing out of here so let me let me do that right now to get this out easier way to do it while this cup is in there, inside, you take pliers, you go through there, and you kind of squeeze.
squish this in like this, you know, like this to make this thinner. And then you pull it out. Then after it comes out, undo these screws to get this one out. Get whatever crap is in there out. And yeah, you can, there's some dust in there. At some point, I'm gonna blow these out with my air compressor. I got it back there, but I don't know where the, the nozzle is for that. So, so there you go. Now we have this out. So next step, and this is what I meant by, you know, being the reason that we need to take those out. Because obviously this, you take this, and you, it fits one way. It has a little bit of adjustment. You see that? It's pretty close to the edge. It looks like you got maybe, you got half an inch, close to an inch in there until it hits the, the edge of it. So there you go. So now, you take this little thing. That's what that's what stays right here. Put it on the back of it. I loosen this up. Now put it here. Come on. Tighten that back down. I just holds this little holder thing in its place. So put this back in there. And then work these around the bulb. You can't actually take this fan off right here. It just unscrews. Probably should do that to put it down. Put this in there again. Put that in there, set it in its spot. Get this. Just the seat in there, and then just pop this thing back in right there, and that's it. It's not going anywhere. It's in there. A little dusty, but we'll get to that problem when, when we get to it. So take this, put this back on. Again, it just screws right back on. Obviously until it's tight. So one's done, that's it. Ready to be put in the car and plugged in. Another one done. So now they're both done and they're ready to be installed in the car. I got the fan. Now let's get to the car. Okay, so on the headlights, obviously you gotta pop them open. Pop the hood, it helps as well. So first thing you wanna do is we're going to remove this cover. There's two Phillips screws here. on this side. And then, a, and then an easy way to get this out is after it's, it's loose, just go forward and up and it comes out. Set that in there so you don't lose it. Okay, so to get the headlight out itself, it has this chrome bezel here that goes all the way around. There's two little screws here 
and there's two on the bottom. Be careful with these little screws. They're very easy to lose because just the way they are, the bumpers right here, it's like when you stick your tool in there, be careful, don't scratch your paint. Obviously, just keep that in mind. And uh, I like to have a magnet nearby, like one of these magnets. I like to have that as well. The top ones aren't too bad, but the bottom ones are the ones you lose or you can lose. Tiny little, tiny little screws like this. Oh no, there you go. Tiny little screws like that. Now I like to loosen one, completely take it out. Leave this one just loose, but don't take it out yet. And then work on the bottom ones. Put your hand underneath kind of like that so when it falls out it goes into your hand there you go another little screw same thing over here stick your hand under there again that's why you have to remove that black cover definitely helps with this plus we're going to need it later to tuck all the wiring Again, don't lose the screw. Now we're gonna remove the top one. So just hold this in its place. And take the bezel out with it at the same time. See, it's kind of holding the screw. Put it over here. Okay. Now the headlight's loose. Take this out, just unplug it, pull the plug. These have already, been, usually these are sealed beam. These have already been upgraded at some point. They got some weird blue bulbs in there, but they're garbage compared to what we're about to put in there. Watch this. So for whatever reason, I've, like I said, I've tested these before. When you take these, when you have just one, so when you don't have the whole, let me scoot this back. So for whatever reason, um, when you have just one headlight in, like let's say to test it out, you can just plug it into there and it'll work. Um, low beam and high beam, but for whatever reason, when you want to put them both in, that's when you need that conversion harness. So we're going to test it out this so I can show you guys. So this only fits, if it only fits in one way. Okay. I'll put it kind of in the same spot just to give you guys an idea. One second. I just wanted to hold it in there for a second. Oh, come on. You guys get the idea. Okay, let me show you guys the difference. Okay, so I'm about to flip the high beam on. How cool is that? Off. And it turns on faster, obviously, because it's LED. There's no warming up. It just turns on and it works. So now let's put the other one in. You know what? I'm going to test them. Maybe they'll work with both. But yeah, see how much better also it looks. So you have just the old dingy headlight. And see all these little lines? That's what I was talking about when it's not necessary to buy those. I recommend it though because you want this to shine through as good as possible versus that. Because what these are for is to make the light go a certain direction so it doesn't blind people like oncoming traffic and stuff but with these because they're a type of projector and it has a cutoff line you don't need it so the clearer the lens in my opinion the better the better it looks and i like the black housing better than that that's just old this just looks good okay so i went ahead and did the same thing on this side and i plugged it in because i want to show you guys what i mean so right now they're both plugged in but it it works but it works really weird so now when you turn on the headlights obviously they're not adjusted because they're not in their housing. But anyways, so that's the low beam. And then when you try to get the high beam, nothing happens and you have no fog. So that's what I meant by you need that harness. So let me turn that off. Got that off. So now I'm gonna connect the, the harness and just to just to be able to show you guys what it does and how okay, it works. So I have the wiring harness all connected. I'll show, I'll, we'll walk it over 
Um, I have it connected to my jump box for now because I have to remove my spare to run the wire to the battery. But So the way the harness works is you plug one plug, the harness itself, right here. It has two plugs. One of them, on my car for whatever reason, if I plug the first plug on the driver's side, the headlights don't work as they should. So plug it on the passenger side, okay? Goes to the harness. And there's a diagram online. I'll probably post a picture somewhere. But see, so it comes from there. It goes to the relays, which we're gonna have to install somewhere in the car. And then it comes back here. So you plug this headlight into this one. I want to fall over. Plug one headlight into this. So now instead of plugging your headlights into the car, car goes to the harness, to the relay, and then you get the first one here. Then you have a ground. This one also has a ground, which I put over there. And so it goes to the relays, and then you'll have a power cable, which will run to the battery. And then the rest of the harness goes to the other side, and it has this plug, which goes into the headlight, and it has its own ground as well. So now, one plug is actually not gonna be used. So we'll have to figure out a way to cap that so water doesn't get into there or anything else. So it's pretty much goes from there, goes to one headlight, and then goes to the other headlight. So all the power runs from here. Now I notice if I put it here, um, and when I flip the high beams on, it gets stuck on the high beams and I have to physically turn the lights all the way off, back on for it to work. So now that I have it all connected, let me flip this on. Okay, so make sure nothing's touching anything weird. So the grounds, those are gonna have to be mounted to the car somewhere. And then this is the power. And there is a fuse box, so if anything ever happens, this will blow first before anything else, which is nice. So you flip this on. That's as if the car would be running right now. All right, so now we flip them on. This one's pointing in the middle of nowhere. There you go. There you go. So you guys can see them both. See, that's one and that's, that's one and that's the other one. So now when we flip on the high beams, check it out. High beams, low beams, high beams. So now I just gotta run all the harness, tuck everything else behind the headlight, make sure it all goes into there, comes out through there. All the wiring is gonna come. I think I'm most likely either gonna remove this piece and put it all underneath here. I'll show you guys, I'm not just gonna do it and be done, but it's either gonna go underneath here or through there. We're gonna, I'm gonna figure all that out, get it all done, and then I'll go over it with you guys. And then uh, we'll take on the next step. All right, so I got everything wired up. So now let me go over how it works. So in here, you have the two relays, okay? That relay has a power wire that runs to the battery. So that goes to the battery right there and it has a fuse, like I was saying earlier, this is all zip tied, it's not going anywhere. It's gonna be hidden by the tire, um, by that thing right there. So from here, from the relays, you got one plug that I made a little slit. Let me show you guys. Into that plug right over there made a little slit and I ran the wire, let's see if I can show you guys, out to here. Uh, hard to show, but everything's right there. I zip tied that plug because it was kind of loose and I didn't want it to fall apart. And then the ground, I grounded it to right there, right there, and that works well. And then over here, I put a little hole at the bottom right there and zip tied that into here. And so now this is pretty much the plug to the headlight. Instead of like how it used to be before, how it had that three prong, three prong plug, like that right there. So now it's this one. So then the back of the headlight will mount to that and then we'll put it on the back. Okay, so that's this side. And then from here, it goes back over here from the relay. Then you have another wire I'm gonna zip tie this up. So this goes to the other headlight. I don't have any electrical tape right now, so I took the original headlight plug, put another slit in there, like I was saying. You can see it here better. And I ran this plug back into the car, that way it doesn't get rain on it or anything. So this, this right here, a little blue and white wire, that's the aftermarket headlight, so that comes through there. As you can see right there, comes up to here, and this one, Goes to that plug right there. And again, I mounted the ballast right in here. And then you have a little headlight connector right there. So super easy. The only mods I had to do 
or pretty much tap those little holes. Two little holes, but that gets covered by the beauty piece right there when he goes on it. So now let me put everything in, connect them all back up, put all the covers and stuff back on. All right, so there it is. I got all the trim pieces back on, these on. Everything you hear, that wire is just gonna sit there like that. It's no big deal. It's not going anywhere. It's not hanging on anything. So yeah, so you can see the black housing headlights. Got the little projectors. Try to test them out again. I still have to align the headlights, but very nice. They close, nothing binds on anything. Perfect. That's it, all done. How cool does that look? A lot of people ask, why yellow fogs? Because I like yellow, because yellow is JDM. This car is JDM. Check it out. Now, as far as adjusting the headlights, I'm gonna do that at work and do measurements to make sure that they're aligned very well and I have bright white walls at work. But now, it's time to go for a test drive. I do have before footage showing how it looked with the halogens, and then I'll insert that in here somewhere, and then I'll, uh, Show you guys what this looks like on the road. It's actually not as blue in person as it makes it on video, which is weird and I've noticed a lot of people that film that say the same thing, like LEDs and lights in general. But I love the look. All right, let's go for a test drive. All right, check it out. You guys can see what it looks like. So it's definitely white. Like, just like I was saying, with the yellow fogs. I love it. Love how it looks. I mean, it's pretty dang bright. You guys can see. That's really nice. All right, let's go for a test drive. So much better, so much brighter. Man. Not a huge difference between high beams and low beams, but man, so much better. Woo, like it, like it a lot nice upgrade too you can definitely go wider with the lights because these are adjustable you know they go this way and up and down let's see if I can show you guys the cutoff there's a fence coming up let's get there and show you the cutoff so as you can see the cutoff lines definitely need to be adjusted it needs to be way lower and that'll actually make it even brighter because it'll shine the light closer oh man that's so nice. That's so nice. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you guys like what you saw, and I hope I can help somebody or you save you guys some money with this DIY. And uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, just the wiring part, you just, it's not hard to plug in, but it's just running it, you know, through all that and tucking it away. But um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for helping me hit a thousand subscribers. I really, really do appreciate that. Um, like the video if you like what you saw. Comment, subscribe, share. You know, I have to say it, right? Got to grow the channel somehow. So thank you guys for watching. Definitely consider subscribing because there's a lot more stuff coming for this car. I already have stuff on the way. And uh, man, oh, that looks so good. I really, really like that. Huge fan. And again, they're not as blue as they are in the video. It's kind of weird, but yeah, they're more of a white, just like they were on, on the outside part of the video um, where we did the outside walk around. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. See you next time.